Good morning, Canada. You know how the song goes. All my single people, all my single people, all my single... <laughs> now put your hands up. All right, so listen. The world's largest social media network is here. They're trying to help you find love. Yeah, this is real, my friends. Facebook announced it's launching a new dating feature, and that's the focus of today's Your Take segment. So sit down. It's time for the family conversation. Would you consider dating on Facebook. With me right now is Ben and Kels. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. This Look, is a fascinating thing, isn't it? Sure Look, is. it's the dating is probably one of the most social things we do, so it's, it seems to be in the wheelhouse of something like Facebook. Frankly, I'm surprised they haven't done this already. It mm. seems like it's low-hanging fruit for them. This is, they have all this information already. It's not like it would take a whole lot to use that Status to right link there. people together. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, and people have been using Facebook as sort of a de facto dating site for years exactly. anyway. Exactly, you put your relationship yeah. status on there if, if you're breaking up, if you're Do in the relationship. Them or not? Yeah. Exactly. Right? But here's what we're finding. We're finding Canadians absolutely love dating online. It is a growing trend. It's been growing for quite some time. We've talked about it. Uh, we found some stats. We did a bit of digging. About 36% of Canadians use online dating, but now with recent dating apps on your smartphones, that number is growing really really, really high. But here's what we found, though. If you're a woman looking for a man, you have more fish in the sea because more men actually use the dating apps and the dating sites compared to women. So you're probably wondering, how does this all work? Can somebody just message me and ask you for a date? Well, no. It all begins with a feature that you will have to click on to activate, essentially. You gotta opt in. Exactly. And it allows you to connect with people that are not on your profile. Uh, basically, once you do opt in, what happens is that you set up a dating profile, but your friends on Facebook won't be able to see it. Now, how do you meet people? How do you meet people? Well, you start to like events that you would actually go to or you join groups that you're interested in. Almost as like if you're in the real world, you, you go to like, I don't know, like a painting, uh, you know, a painting class. You join a painting group on Facebook. Once you join that group or you join this event, then you will be shared, your profile, your dating profile will be shared with other people who have opted into the dating feature who are attending that event or are in that group. You know what I think? Then you can message someone, but it's only via text, Kels, because huh. they are trying to ensure that their safety around this. What I find interesting is when I look at the social media uh, that I use, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Facebook skews older in mm -hmm. my family uh, with uh, my parents, my relatives, my older aunts and uncles, my grandparents on Facebook as opposed to some of the younger relatives that mm -hmm. I had. So this struck me as really interesting that it would be Facebook and not Instagram because yeah. you know that they're combined. I it's such you, a great point. I, I would have loved to have seen their plans for this dating app prior uh, to, to, the, uh, to the whole scandal that they just went through. Yeah. Yes. Because it seems like they are really doing their best to ensure data privacy right now. Well, that's the thing. Many apps, like Tinder, for example, you actually have to log in through Facebook. So this is actually something that Facebook has been planning for quite some time mm -hmm. now. But yes, uh, like you said, that data breach that happened recently, that is on people's minds. So here's the question for you, Canada. We use the hashtag, your take. Would you use Facebook to date? Chime in right now on Facebook, on Instagram, or on Twitter. We want to know right now. We'll be back right after this.